AWS is beefing up its generative AI offering. Quite recently, during reInvent conference, they have announced a new model called as Amazon Titan Image Generator. If you are a content creator or anything to do with image generation, then now you can use Amazon Titan Image Generator model to quickly create and refine images using English language prompts. Or in other words, if you want to generate images from text, then now you can do that by using Amazon Titan Image Generator. This have a lot of use cases out there if you are using services in AWS like Bedrock, because not only through the console, but also through your code or API calls, you can do a lot of image related things. For example, if your use cases related to advertising, e-commerce or media and entertainment, then you can create studio quality realistic images in large volume that at very low cost. Maybe all you need to do is to put your text prompt in a loop through Bedrock and then by using Python Boto3 library with API calls to this Amazon Titan image generator through Bedrock, you can generate hundreds or even thousand or even more images just at a fraction of cost. And you can do that on the basis of your um, application requirement or whatever users your users want. Okay, now having said that, you can also customize the model with proprietary data to generate images consistent with your own brand guidelines or to generate images in a specific style. For example, by fine tuning the model with images from a previous marketing campaign, Titan Image Generator also mitigates harmful content generation to support the responsible use of AI. All the images generated by Amazon Titan contain an invisible watermark design to help reduce the spread of misinformation by providing a discrete mechanism to identify AI generated images. Okay, now in order to start doing that, uh, by that I mean using text prompt to generate images by using Amazon Titan, the first thing you need to do is to go to your AWS account and request the access to the model. So as you can see on your screen, I'm already logged into my AWS account. And if you look at this section, then you can see that Titan Image Generator G1 is available in preview and I need to request it to be available. For that, right, just click on this top right on Manage Model Access and then select this Titan Image Generator from here and then scroll down a little and simply click on save changes and that should be it and as soon as i did that access to this model has been granted okay so that's all you need to do into the console you can play around with this image generator in the uh, playground by clicking on image and then selecting the model let me quickly show you that so as soon as i clicked on this image in this playground i was presented by this from here you need to click on select model once you click that, you can either select Amazon or Stability AI. We are going to go with Amazon one, so just click here. And then simply click on Apply. So there you go, our image is done. On the right hand side, there are a lot of um, things you can select, like uh, we want to generate, not edit. Is there anything negative you want to avoid, like blurred or anything? And then you can even upload an image to reference it quality standard you can go with premium if you want and then landscape or portrait size and number of images maybe i'll just go with the one just to speed it up i'll just and then type it here in this box i'll say uh, maybe angry line just to keep it simple and then I have pressed enter or click on run and you can see that it is generating it. I'm just going to wait for it to finish. It shouldn't take too long. So you can see that this is rotating and that is done. So there you go, angry line. And the image quality is quite nice. If I just say here, um, maybe 
white sandy beach with people sunbathing and relaxing. Let's see. And you can add whatever you want here. Let's wait for it to finish. So there you go. Um, quite a good quality, I would say. And you can see it's a white sandy beach, whatever you asked. And people are sunbathing and relaxing. Awesome. Okay, that's done. Now let me show you the code. So this is a code which I wanted to show you. Now I have already set up all my AWS success keys and everything and I'm using STS to assume the role to run this. So make sure that you have AWS CLI and that sort of thing configured your credentials to your account. Now, first I'm importing these libraries, which are simple photo three uh, Python library and these are for image manipulation. Then I'm taking bedrock and bedrock runtime client in order to use that model. And here I am providing it some of the parameters which I provided in the playground too, where you can see number of images, quality, premium, height, width, all that thing. And then just keep the seed and CFT scale here. They are just by default, they work fine. And here I am specifying that image generator V1 model. And from there, I'm getting the images and then showing the images. And if you go up a little, I'm using the same text angry line. So once you run this, it is going to show you the same. Uh, it will generate it and then let me show you. So this is what it has generated, as you can see on your screen. Now let me change the prompt and then let's see if it is able to print something else too. So I'm just going to say here, maybe I'll say um, maybe white sandy beat again. So that and then let's save it and let me run it again. Let me close my previous images. And I'm just going to say by Titan image and then I'll press enter. So you can see that it is running as, as soon as my image gets displayed. I'll take you there. Still processing, still processing. Let's wait for it the image to come up. Image has come up and there you go. So this is the image it has produced of the white sandy beach. So you can see that now you can put it in the loop and generate as many images as you want according to your application. You can put it in some sort of lambda function and then behind the API gateway, build a small website, ask your users to give a text prompt and you can generate the images and voila, there you go. You have your own generative AI image generator. And then there are you know now sky is the limit here so i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or feedback or any if you're stuck somewhere let me know and i'll be happy to help out and if you like the content then please give us a thumb a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel thank you very much